Hey guys, how's it going? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful time learning some Vue.js and in our last tutorial we went over how to um, use these check marks to display and hide our various panels. So in this tutorial we're going to uh, make um, only certain panels appear on default refresh and we're also going to add uh, functionality to the add button so that when a user types in a task and adds, clicks the add button, a new task gets added into the array that's then displayed down in the um, bottom table here. So let's go to, let's first um, define which panels are shown by default and we want to only show the display tasks, the add new tasks and the title when someone refreshes. So we have to hide the display stats and the completion progress bar. So we, if we go to our code and we go to our script, we want to um, display progress bar as false and display statistics as false. Then we want to go to our um, add task button and our add task button is display right over here. So we have our form and we have our value add and this should be a submit form so we submit the uh, submit submit the form when someone uh, presses enter or clicks on this button so we change that to submit um, and then we want to uh, go to form and change this to add task and we want to instead of using the form action we want to just this is, uh, we're using a pseudo form here that's only submitting something to the, um, to the Vue.js array, which is not an actual uh, backend server form. So this is just um, to practice uh, Vue.js. So we're going to go here and say v on submit, and we're going to create a method called add task. So if we go down here to our, um, our elements, we add, after data, we add a methods element, and then we say add task, and then define a function for this. The first thing we want to do is uh, define a event, and we want to see event prevent default. This is because um, when a user current, currently uh, clicks the form submit, uh, the page is technically going to a new link where the form is being submitted to. However, we don't want the page to refresh because everything is just all stored in the view VJS instance, which is going to get refreshed if we go to a new page or we refresh the page. So we want to prevent the page from reloading, which is done by event.preventDefault. And then we want to uh, check whether the add uh, input tag has a um, uh, has a is blank or is undefined. So if we go if, and then we say this task's name is not equal to, it's not equal to blank, and it's also task's name is not equal to undefined. Once we have that, we can say if those two are not true, then we can say, or if those two are true, then we say this tasks push. So basically it adds to the array that we have here. Um, and we have to add in the array. So we are going to actually, uh, in our data, we are actually going to uh, press enter here and say tasks and create a new data element. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to define some predefined tasks that we're gonna use temporarily just to get used to this. So we are gonna say name, go buy pet food, and then we're going to add two more and then we're going to say uh, grow, go go grocery shopping and then we're going to say go wash the car so once if so once uh, we push uh, to this um, to this task array we're going to say here um, define inside this function name is equal to this tasks name Having done that, if we go back to our browser and we refresh the page, we have uh, by default the task stats and the uh, display completion progress bar are not shown. 
And if, so let's hide those back again. And if we add a new task, actually uh, the tasks have not been displayed in the um, table because we haven't done a for loop inside our VGS table. So let's actually do a for loop so that it goes through um, all the elements inside the array, all the keys, and displays the tasks order by order in the table. So let's uh, go back to our code. So we want to go back to our table here and table row. So here in our table row, we are going to say v4. This is how we do a for loop in VJS. It's very, very simple. And we can say any name. We're going to say, uh, we're just going to define a random key name called task just to make things simple, but this can be any name. And then we want to then point to the array that we're pointing at, the, that we are getting our data from. So we can say task in tasks, which, is, which refers to this array right here. And then we want to say, instead of go by fish tank here, we can delete that and we can say task name. So if we go back here and we refresh the page, refresh, we have three items, go buy pet food, go grocery shopping, and go wash the car. The next thing we want to do is if we go back to our working application, if we check mark a task, the task becomes uh, has a text text decoration added to it that's a line through. So to add that, we have to define a class v v bind or v if declaration. So we go back to um, we go back to our style. So let's add a text line text decoration line through style. So let's say um, if a element has a class of task done, we want it to have a text decoration of line through. Next, we want to go back down here and we want to add a name here so that um, so that the task is defined as whether as done or not. So here we're going to say uh, task done is equal to true just as an example and then we're going to say done false and by default it should be false but the first one we're just going to experiment with and say true and then done false next we want to go to our checkbox and here we're going to v bind this so we're going to say v model and it's going to be the individual done element for that particular task that is in the for for loop for each loop so we're going to say task done. And this is automatically going to do the VJS magic and link this checkbox with the task done element. So if uh, so, this will make the done element, the toggle, the done element, true or false. And then we have to check if the done element is true or false. And depending on whether it's true or false, we have to give this task, uh, a, this task uh, text a class of uh, task done so that it has a text decoration of line through. So to do that, we're simply going to uh, wrap this around a span tag. So span, then I'm just going to copy and paste the task name inside this, like so. And just as an example, we're going to say class done, task done. And if we refresh the page, it should have all of the tasks uh, ref uh, crossed out. So we refresh the page. And there you go, we have all the classes taught, uh, um, crossed out. So we do have that all crossed out, but we want to be able to toggle it with the VJS. So the checkbox is currently um, toggling the done class on and off. So all we have to do now is in this text span class, we have to check if the task uh, done element is true or false. So if we go back here and then we, uh, in the task class, we do a V bind. So uh, the simple shortcut way is just to add a colon at the top, at the front, and then we want to do uh, do this part in a curly bracket. So curly bracket, and inside here we're going to say task done, and it's going to be true or, uh, active or inactive based on whether the task done element is true or false. So task done, and then if we refresh the page, refresh. There you go. So now if we check this. It disappears and if we check it back on it appears again and we can do it for all three tasks 
So if we go back to our um, code and then we change this to false and we go back to our browser, refresh the page, and there we go. We have all three tasks as undone yet. So we can check box each so that each becomes a check, check uh, text line through. So um, for the next part of our tutorial, we are going to add um, the, we're going to give the ability to add new tasks so that it gets displayed inside here. So if we currently add, nothing shows. But in our next video, we're going to go over how to create this add button so that um, you can add new tasks to the array and have them displayed uh, freshly inside the table for the um, task names. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next lecture video.